Good morning everybody. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Really nice day again this November, what is today, 16th, 2016. Really, really nice day. Uh, yesterday I didn't grab the camera, not even once. It rained and rained and rained and rained and rained. Um, the greenhouse rainwater collection got about a half a tank, which is good. We have uh, and just under half a tank. So we have a fair amount of water came in from uh, the rain. So that was free water just coming off the roof of the greenhouse. Um, let's go look inside the greenhouse. I haven't been out here yet. Uh, it's been sunny so it must be nice in here I'm thinking. Uh, 74 degrees. 74 degrees in the greenhouse. Plants are looking good and happy. So I'm going to continue work on the potting station so that we can get the solar batteries hooked up and uh, start automating the fish system for the fishies. Working with my very wet wood here since yesterday. Everything's very, very wet. Can you see that? How damp it is? I've just put the main shelf together with supports which is also going to help um, bear the weight and give it strength on the frame here once I get the screws in there. I'm low on screws so for now I'm uh, getting it all put together but right now I'm about to stand it up and put on the two front legs and then I've got to cut and put in the battery boxes and fit them in. Sure hope I have enough screws anyway but and then we'll get that in I'll probably put the battery boxes inside in the greenhouse so this isn't too heavy for me to move at that point. So I'm going to stand this up right now and put these legs on. Ho hopefully I can do this and let you watch. Sorry guys, I'm going to attempt to stand this up so that I can put the legs on straight. Hopefully I can balance my weight on this trailer and it doesn't fall. considering actually the option of building the bottom where this twisted and warped during the rain which is not cool but if I put that bottom shelf on it's going to be really really heavy then again if I don't then I won't be able to line it up as straight I think I'm going to have to do that next put on the bottom shelf line it up then I put those legs on straight. Now I can lift this up. I'm going to put the legs on. Right flush. If you hear a generator in the background, that's Melanie washing clothes. We went from uh, well, under mat costs thirty dollars a month to wash our clothes, including a blanket or two. Well, under mat would cost thirty dollars a month. Running the generator costs one or two dollars a month. You do the math. Slip down. I gotta be 
careful. This trailer isn't propped up very well. Oh, there we go. I'll get the other leg on, and then we'll stand it up and take it in and put it on the bottom shelf. Hey everybody, well there it is in place. Uh, obviously I still have to build the battery bank on the bottom for the bottom shelf. But there is the potting bench for the, at the perfect height for Melanie to work on. And uh, she can put some little tools or whatever up top. Let's put a tool up there just for looks. I'll get a shovel here. And she can put her tools up here, and I'll probably hang a, a board up here on the wall. I'll tap it into the studs, and then put screwing hooks so she can hang her shovel and her rake and all her little things up there. But here we have beginnings of a potting bench. I'm going to have to get more screws to finish this properly, because I ran out of 3-inch screws. Um, well, I'm running out. I've, I've got enough to set those shelves in place, and pretty much that's going to be it. But at least I'll get the battery. Uh, I'm using my boat battery for now. I'll get off, get off the ground and put in the other two batteries that I will be using and hopefully set up solar power here in the greenhouse. And it's hot. I'm sweating. It is. I don't know if you can see that. It's 80 degrees in here. I don't know if that shows or not. It's 80 degrees. 80.1 degrees. 80.8, I should say. Things are growing nicely. Looking good. We've got our pepper plant. It's got even more flowers on it right here. And I give them a little tap now and then. And that um, ensures that it's pollinated. Look, at here's another one coming. Here's a pepper growing. Um, here's another flower. There's a flower that's going to turn into a pepper. So... I think that, yeah, that one there is going to turn into a pepper. we got another one started up here. And it's it's going to be a great plant. Really, really good. That is the Anaheim chili pepper. So, I'm really pleased with that. And the pea plant, especially up top, are growing very, very well in here in the greenhouse. Oh, it's hot. So, I've got to get my coat off. Well, i got one piece in and I've been called to lunch. So, i got to go. I'm using a massive piece of treated lumber for the bottom and in a 2x6 um, not barn wood that's some of the treated lumber but I uh, that's gonna have the batteries on it so um, it's hopefully gonna be better in case chemical spills anyway gotta go in for lunch see you inside I want to show you some things inside hi guys got the freezer on now I couldn't run it yesterday at all so it's probably gonna really pull some power today we were dropping low on voltage because we had no sun. Right now though, we're pulling 400 watts on the uh, uh, Morningstar, the TriStar, and we're pulling 6 amps, so about a third of that. Uh, maybe 120, 130, 150 watts on the Renogy. So about 500 and some odd watts we're pulling in right now. MPBT mode, but that's probably going to be because the battery voltage was getting lower. And the freezer's got to run to bring the power back up in here. Uh, I mean to, to, to freeze the food up back in because uh, it wasn't running. Anyway, I think my brain goes 5,000 miles an hour and my lips don't. That's how it goes. So we'll get the power back up. It's all going to be all right. Inside the tiny house on wheels today, we have 75 degrees in the house and an amazing 64 degrees outdoors on November 16th. This is incredible. Uh, greenhouse temperature dropped back down to 70, but that's fine. The sun is off the front of the greenhouse and it's not shining directly in there anymore. But what a beautiful day for mid-November. It's more like springtime or summer. Hi guys, back in the greenhouse. I've got my last piece cut. And the back end is a little bit tight. The wood is warped. I should have grabbed my hammer. Yeah, let me go grab my hammer. 
So the back is tight and the front is loose, and I cut them all at the same size. Uh, that's what happens with warped wood, old recycled wood. Now, I think, I think a little gap won't hurt a thing there. All right, I've got to suck these sides in with screws. I think what I'm going to have to do is move this around. I'm really going to have to push that against the wall to suck that in with the, the screws. So, I'll be right back. We're going to rearrange things. Sorry for the crooked camera. I'm on the crooked, uh, uneven floor of the greenhouse. Hey, everybody. Okay, I've got two screws left to bring this thing into control here. Two screws left in the house, and then I've got nothing. I'm going to get a couple there, get these ones in, so I'm going to have to go get some more screws next time I'm in town. screws on this because this table is going to see a lot of action, a lot of flexing and stuff. So once I get the screws, I'm going to do a lot more in here. It's going to have some heavy, heavy pots on it, some really heavy batteries on the bottom. So I've got to get, I want to put some more here, one more here, and probably some from the inside out. I've got to get uh, a couple here in this board, uh, a couple into the, uh, right here, into this support. So, I wish I had more 3 inch screws around here, but I don't. I want to take a look around and see if I can find something, and then I can finish, because once I put the batteries on, I won't want to take them all apart and move this around anymore. But I need to get this solid and stable. I don't want to use nails because they pull out, but... I think I could finish it off with nails, and then I've got the shear force and the pulling power. Pulling power of screws and shear force of nails. I think that's what I'm going to do. That'll give me the uh, extreme strength all the way around. So I'll get my framing nailer and uh, generator and air compressor going and finish it up properly. Then we'll be done. Hey everybody, this is Troy and... Melanie. From the do-it-yourself world and... The Off-Grid Project. Please subscribe and follow our daily videos as we strive to become self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching.